early morning, a day like any other in the year 2003, is a day Olympian Benson Gisharu will never forget. He walked into the house only to find his mother in tears. They were painful tears of a mother who had witnessed her children sleep hungry and in sunrise she still had nothing to offer her offspring. Being the firstborn and very young back then, Gisharu knew he had to change the entire narrative. Nilikonaelewa nikaelewa ni juu ya venye tuko tumesafu na asubuhi ndio hiyo imefika. Hakuna kitu yote tungeweka kwa mdomo. So nilienda nikakaa mali chini. Nikaangalia mkono zangu hivi nikasema hizi ndio zitakuja kututoa. Mother getu. Na nikaa nilikuwa na speak blessing to my hands cause after that nilikuja nikarealize ni vitu mingi sana naweza fanya kama painting man, Fast forward to 21 years later, and after an illustrious career in boxing, having represented Kenya in the 2012 and 2016 Olympic Games, two Commonwealth Games, and All African Games, Olympian Benson Gisharu announced his retirement in May of 2018. His last fight being a first round defeat to Mongolian Senbata and Enbata at the Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast, Australia. Three months after hanging his gloves, we traced the police bantamweight fighter to the Mathara Police Depot. It is here we find the soft spoken man in session. In his hands are not fighting gloves but fighting pads. An indication of the huge transition from being at the center of the boxing ring as a fighter to behind the scenes as a boxing coach. So when you fika na then you fika the right time, at least na mingi ko kwa kiliangu. Much of all, Ukomtani, because very soon a plan ku and the club mutani. Having shaped his career amid numerous challenges, Benson would like to help others, especially in informal settlements, achieve their dreams. Mwe sabuni kama kupata a successor, who will achieve more than you have achieved. Na yon di oktwenye, na plan sa hii. Nipate mtu mwenye atenda commonwealth, asinde silver, asinde gold. Yon yon takwa ni achievement kwa ngu. After retirement, Gesharu too decided to revive not only one of his hidden talents, but his passion. He decided to plunge into art in July of 2018, just two months after retiring from active fighting. In Kenya and perhaps in some parts of Africa, there has been a problem, especially with our sportsmen, in that once their active days are over, they have no idea on how to go forward and to make a living for themselves. But for one, Benson Gisharu, he is on the right path, cutting a niche in the world of art, as well as becoming a boxing coach. In his hand is a brush and a palette filled with different colors. Before him, an easel supporting his half done piece of art. I painting. I painting. I painting. Ongari madai, shed in tears, na kwa hii ni lori, imebiba logs za miti, alafu kutuwa kwa nasata enda kwa nimeenika evergreen. So na get, kwa sayi situation ya nituku, unapata kuna watu wana support na mdomu, unapata wana support, eh watu wana taka wana fa watu kemau, lakini in real sense, Au ndiyo nabuna zaidi. Wanachangia kudestroy msitu. Eee, wanachangia kudestroy msitu. That's why kwa hii nini nyuma ndandika evergreen. Ongari madai ya kilia kwa sababu. Ange kwa hii huko. Ange angalia vitu zanyo zinafanyika. Ni kutia za nge kwa. So, nasema mali huko hata saa hii ya kiangalia Kenya kuingana na situation ya nyiko saa hii. Ni kukraya na kukraya. Ukiangalia... Kariya yako ya boxing na saiti ni unafanya, umeza 
Is there anything to regret? No, there's nothing to regret. I gave it my all. I gave it my all. I gave it a hundred and... Uh, sometimes I used, to, I, I used to give it a hundred and fifty. Mm-hmm. So, Sidani Kaku na Kiyote, I could regret at all. So, wh- how far do you want to get with painting? For now? It's just a hobby. Uh, no, it's not a hobby. I think this, apart from being a coach, because I'm planning to be one of the greatest coaches that Kenya has ever produced. Pia, I want to... When I was in boxing, I was able to get a lot of people who were able to get a lot of people. So, in art, in 10 years to come, it will be my great, greatest... Yeah, it will be... Itakuwa ni achievement yangu ingine kubwa. Mm. Eh, na kwa mali, siku na tarajia. Ama watu wengi wangefikiria wange ni ndafika through art. Mm. Mm. Alafu, mm. miu wana, ata sii ya kiboxi kipeke yake. Mm. <coughs> like even in other sporting disciplines, mm. unawana wase, by the time wana retire, mm. ata wajuangi, wakiritire, umibi wameritire, ata wajua meritire, wana ani? hiyo plan kwa watu wanasafa financially uh ungependa kuambia wase mjue na kwa umejipanga already you are a coach uko na your own thing happening na uh, painting what do you think watu ujipata tu si hao wanataka kuacha mchezo ndio inawakataa maybe due ya age and stuff like that kwa nini watu wanaanga hiyo plan ni you contribute to such issue like another than thing frustrations are life mm-hmm. alafu unapata uh, tunakonga tumeka akili yetu mahali pamoja mm. of which ni wrong ndio saa zingine inasaidia lakini mostly unapata ngani wrong unapata kando na boxing una get any unafikiria tu story ya boxing alone mm. au fikiri mambo investment mm. na kuna siku itafika body katai mm. alafu kwanza mostly hakuna kitu mbaya kama hiyo sport yenye hiyo sport yenye unafanya hiyo yenye ikukatai hakuna mm. kitu mbaya kai eh kawe uko ready na sasa hapo ina ina body body ndio unayumiza mm. niliangalia wale maboxer yenye wamekuwa hapo mbeleni mm. anga sema nda mimi ndakuwa part of the change mm. na ndafanya vitu tofauti tofauti na venyao yenye walifa kutu nao yenye walifanya na mtu akiniangalia anaweza sema yenye anaweza taka kwa mtu anaweza taka kwa mtu ka flan sasa ndio kitu mostly niko naangalia sana na mtu sema inboxing you want to be like one of the greatest yeah. uh, coaches ni different unataka kufanya uh, as a coach i'll do more research kitu yenye watu wanatufanyia Bo- nini sports zote size may change ndio ndio maana utapata watu wana wanasomea wana sports like how muscles operates mm-hmm. unapata makocho wengi kwa juu mm-hmm. venye watu wanafaa kuwa kia power mm-hmm. strength kwa sababu kila program inakuja na time yake mm-hmm. aina saa si kuingia tu gym na train tu kawaida sasa hiyo ndio itakuwa tofauti Alafu there was a time in 2000 and 2000 was it 2000 and 2004 nilienda Qatar baada kwenda Qatar kuna vitu kidogo kidogo tuliweza kufundishwa kuna coach tulikuwa naye mkiuba kuna vitu kadhaa alitufundisha which ni ukini ukifunzukiwa mkubwa ina kwa tofauti na ukifunzukiwa mtu huyu so Kenya na plan kufanya ni kwanza nini na watu wadogo Eh, na nianze kwa fundisha wakiwa wa young wa grow nazo mm. sasa itakuwa ni rahisi kwa huku kuzishika unge kwa una paint ama haunge kwa unafanya boxing ni mingine kando na what else do you love maybe comedy eh, well, you would be <laughs> comedy kusikiza you would be a comedian comedian like, uh, comedian i don't look fun lakini maybe kuandikiana No, but I know, you know, I've been on my friend's Facebook. <laughs> you know, your nini are always hilarious. So I understand <laughs> why you're saying that. <laughs> yeah. Point of action. Eh? 
in the workshop lakini kuna friend of mine called Adam Masaba yeye ndio mwalimu wa mine kwa sasa hivi he's not around this some of his paintings na anapenda kwa kai easy easy ni koto ina show slums mabati concept ya mabati ni kwenye amegrowia yeah. you uh, he's the first guy to start working on sheets painting ya mine ya kwanza ilikuwa ni this one ya kwanza kumaliza ya ya hapa kutoka nianze art hiyo 98 naweza sema ndio ndirudi art this was my best painting yenye niliweza kufanya after kurudi after kurudi so this is just uh na eh ya last month then nikafanya hii hii nao tu ilikuwa ni kwa kia rangi hii ni style ilikuwa nimeka map nao ya background hii moshi ni kenye struggle zote zenye wa madhu go through ndio hakikishe watu wao wameenda wasiende bed kama wajakula kitu eh, na alafu ana scarf smart sana hii hapa ana hii scarf ino eh, inaonesha inwardly anaweza kuwa na go through a lot lakini na nje ukimwangalia anakaa ana kwa tuko sawa unapata madha wengi walikuwa wanatusmailia wewe jo Kenya na go through vision yako in terms of painting kwa boxing that you want to be the best coach but in terms of uh, painting do you want to open your own gallery or uh, maoni yako maono yako ni gani na naweza sema kongo step yote kila step ina count hata mimi leo kujuku mimi kishangamiwa mbia wa majamaa mimi kisha kila siku nikikuja at least na lang kitu moja na hivyo ndio grow cuz we start to die when we stop when we stop learning so vision ya mine naweza sema in 10 years to come ndio watu walikuwa wananiongelelea boxing ndio watakuwa kiniongelelea pande art kwa sababu kila siku kila siku na grow kumaanisha leo 